Hey guys, Shelby Smith with Jim and Eat Crickets. Today I am taking you behind the scenes for a little bit of a product photography experiment. So from the very beginning, I've done all of my own product photography, so that's been like a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, I was really, really bad at it in the beginning, and I'd still say that I'm pretty inexperienced, but I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy messing around with it. There are certainly days where I wish my product was more photogenic. Something like a flower farm comes to mind. Crickets are just not uh, beautiful to take pictures of, let's put it that way. But um, I do get to mess around with some of the creative and things like that. And there are a lot of things that you can do with your phone. Um, I have an iPhone, that's what I'm talking to right now. And there's plenty of things you can do with that. But recently I have been into the real camera side and I'm really enjoying it. So today I think I'll do a few holiday themed ones and um, maybe some non-holiday ones. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But I will show you the way that I set it up. And so the experimenty portion of this one is I normally shoot only in natural light. Uh, I think that it's fairly forgiving. Um, so this time I'm going to try something different and I'm not going to do natural light. I am going to do these LED ring lights. Um, I found them in the clearance aisle of Walmart for like five bucks and I looked up and I was like those would work great for some photography stuff. So we're gonna try those out and um, we'll see how it works. Who knows? Welcome to my fancy photography studio. It took me a while to figure out the backdrop that I wanted and the props that I wanted to use but eventually the red and the green called to me for this so that's what I went with I get most of my inspiration for this stuff off of TikTok there are a few photographers that I love to follow on there that give me the inspo all right so I'm gonna call that good enough for today um, I'm gonna show you a few of the tricks that I used I definitely got a few good shots of powder and a few good shots of bars didn't really get very many good ones of the roasted crickets but that's okay um, I usually take a lot of pictures of the roasted crickets and then like neglect the other two products so I am happy with what I got out of it so far the one little trick that I do want to share with you is how I get the bars to stand up essentially um, that's part of the reason why I like never shoot the bars is because it would always frustrate me trying to get them to stand up and not just have to take them pictures of laying flat or like leaned up against some sort of prop so this is just a piece of um, toilet roll or paper towel roll that I cut and then I masking taped it to it and then it just sits super easy and you don't see it in the photo so pretty awesome if you have styrofoam blocks like you can do that too but um, couldn't find any styrofoam so I had to improvise so let's look at some final products so I don't use any sort of fancy editing software I upload all of these to Google Photos and go from there so all in all I would call this a success I enjoy doing this um, I will probably do some other stuff a little later on in the year now that I know that I don't have to be so reliant on natural light natural light honestly is still my favorite but this will work for now um, thanks so much for watching hope if anybody has any products that they have to photograph hope this is helpful otherwise it's a nice little peek behind the scenes uh, if you would consider liking subscribing sharing that would be very helpful and thank you guys for being here Woo!